mechanical engineer here at Napoleon Engineering Services and I hope you're ex as excited as I am to build these cars today. So one aspect of the car that is critically important are the wheels and the bearing that's in the wheels. <laughs> As you're doing your design, you have to consider uh, the fact that you are using gravity to power this vehicle and you want to reduce the friction for rolling motion. And one way is with the bearing that's in these wheels. One thing with respect to the bearings is you have to, as I talked about, locate or hold this bearing to your shaft. The amount of force that you apply, as I am with my fingers against the bearing, is, is a load that the bearing has to support and handle. The greater that load, the more power loss there is, the more it takes to turn the wheel. So when you install the bearing, you have a threaded rod that's coming through the, the bore of the bearing. And that's what, we, it's going to be a slip fit. And there's gonna be a washer most likely on each side and some sort of locking collar to hold the wheel to the axle. And I keep talking about power loss and friction, and we want to reduce the friction. We want all the rotation to happen inside the bearing. So it's my suggestion, perhaps, to think about putting some tape on the threaded rod to where you push the bearing on over that t tape, and it's a little snug. And that way, we are sure that the inner ring is tight onto the shaft and all the rolling motion happens inside the bearing.